Amber, thank you. Uh, Artists of Hawaii, it's the largest, longest running all media juried exhibition in the state. And since it started in 1950, more than 1,900 artists have had the opportunity to share their work with the community. But this year is especially important for the exhibit. It's the 59th year anniversary. And joining us now with more on this year's showcase is Stefan Yost. He's the new director of the Academy of Arts, of, of Arts, Artists of Hawaii's 59th anniversary. Uh, let's talk about this event. You have, it's one of the biggest events for the Academy this year. A absolutely. Last night we had 1,800 people at the Academy, full house, tons of artists, a great deal of fun. And how did you select the artists that will be uh, presenting their we work? We brought one of the premier curators, Michael Rooks from Atlanta. He works at the High Museum and he went through over a thousand different artists who live and work here and he selected 85 of what he thought were the best ones. And does each artist gets, does each artist present one piece of work, two, three? It really depends on the juror but generally it's one or two works. What we're trying to do is make it really accessible, make sure a lot of artists have a chance to show at our great museum here. And they're all local artists? Yeah, all from Hawaii. They're, um, uh, but they're all sorts of different, you know, there's video art, there's painting, there's calligraphy, there's sculpture. It's really all over the map. There's something for everybody to love. And you, Stefan, you're actually a new, the new director there. Um, right. I, I've read a little bit about your, your past. You've worked in New York, you've worked in Vermont, even Oakland, California. Yep. Tell me a little bit about what you envision for the, uh, the Academy. Well, the Honolulu Academy is really a museum, a school, and a theater. And um, it's extraordinary exciting time for the institution because the, it's merging with the Contemporary Museum. And I think we've got a really great opportunity to serve our public here better. I hope to be extraordinarily um, accessible and have the museum be visited by lots and lots of people. And why did you choose uh, to come here? Um, more than the weather, actually. It was, I mean, the collections are amazing. We have Van Gogh and Monet, and the curators and the staff are really great. And then we've got all these wonderful tourists. So um, I really thought it was a, an institution that, that could really thrive in the years to come. And recently you were at the, in Vermont working yes. at a museum there. What do you hope to bring from your experience there to here? We were able to really connect with the public there um, and make it really of the place and, and really kind of increase attendance and get the bottom line solid. And, and I think those are all things that we can do here too. And not only the, the we have the artists of uh, Hawaii that's going on, but there's also another uh, important uh, event coming up. I guess it's the Surf the Film, surf Fe film festival. festival. So the Doris Duke Theater is in the Honolulu Academy of Arts building on Veritana Street, and the Surf Film Festival is usually one of the most popular weeks here. Just imagine more surf movies than you can imagine, and. It's a great deal of fun, and it probably sell out pretty quick. So um, maybe 1,800 guests. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do fine on that one. I All mean, right. surfing Hawaii, people like to go. Stefan Yost, the new director of the Academy of Arts. Thanks for joining us here. This Thank morning. you very much. And for more on the dates and times of the exhibit, or to learn more about each of the featured artists, you can head over to the As Seen On section of KITV.com on our website, and you can also go to the Academy Absolutely. and check out the art. Love to see you there. The time now is 619. We'll be right back. Thanks for waking up with us here on KITV4 News this morning.